Hello, my name is Dr. Randolph Shippon. I am a licensed psychologist in New Jersey. I'm also the author of Reiki Psychology and the blog ReikiDay.com. I'm here to teach you Reiki in 10 minutes. I know that sounds absurd. The truth is I'm not going to teach it to you traditionally. I'm going to teach it to you the way that I understand it and the way that I've understood it for the 12 years since I was made a traditional Asui Reiki master. The important thing to uh, know in the beginning is, is uh, what Reiki is. Reiki is a Japanese word. It stands for Universal Life Force Energy. Rei is universal and Ki is like Chi, a word that you may have heard to describe the life force that runs through us. The idea of Reiki is very simply that there is a vibration, a frequency in the universe that permeates all things, kind of like the force from Star Wars, uh, which, by the way, George Lucas borrowed from ideas like Reiki. Uh, the, uh, this harmonic uh, 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 frequency can wash away the energies that are not healthy for us. And if one learns how to attune oneself to that energy and allows it to flow through, kind of like tuning yourself to a radio station, uh, then it can wash away some of the static that makes us unhappy, stressed out, and ultimately, uh, if that static is washed away, uh, then our bodies can heal the way that they're supposed to heal, the way that they are dare I say, designed to heal. That's the essence of Reiki. Anyone can learn it. A child can learn it. I've known four and five year olds that can do it. I don't believe it to be magical or mystical uh, any more than your digital watch is magical and mystical. It may be mysterious to us right now how it works, but that's because we might not fully understand it yet. And as our understanding increases, so will our ability to use it. Well, I've used two minutes and 40 seconds of your time. Uh, it's time to start teaching you Reiki. My research is on gratitude. That is what I did my dissertation on. I have found gratitude, the feeling of gratitude, to be foundational to an understanding of Reiki. As a matter of fact, in the original teaching of Reiki, we were taught, just for today, do not anger, do not worry, and be filled with gratitude. And so, it is foundational to Reiki as an idea, and uh, that is what I am telling you is the ultimate teacher of the Reiki vibration. If you can really tune into gratitude and really think of someone or something who has conferred a benefit to you, that will get you in the right space to be thinking positively about things so that you can conduct this energy. Ultimately, I believe that the Reiki energy is a benevolent love energy. I, I think that's the best way to describe it. I'm not alone in that. Most Reiki masters will tell you that that is true. So, begin by taking a deep breath in and out and in again and out and call to mind someone whom you are grateful toward, someone who has been very kind and very loving toward you, very generous. And I'd like you to lift your hands and invite that person's essence or spirit into your hands and reflect upon them. Reflect upon the way that your hands feel as they are, you know, in your imagination, certainly, holding the essence of this person in your hands, this person who has been kind to you. 
this person who has done good things for you. You may notice your hands start to tingle or may start to feel like they're warming up a little bit. That's what we're looking for. The important thing for you also to notice is that in this moment of gratitude toward this person, you cannot hold an angry feeling. Gratitude and anger cannot be held in the same place at the same time. Neither can worry. That's why when Mrs. Takata taught us just for today, do not anger, do not worry, and be filled with gratitude, she was giving us the cure. She was giving us the secret to Reiki. I'd like you to envision that there is a something in the universe coming through you, something that is healing and good as you think about this person who has been so kind to you, and that this energy is entering through the crown of your head, washing down the back of your neck, through your shoulders and your upper arms and your forearms, and out through your hands. At this point you should be really feeling a strong tingle in your hands. Envision your hands being able to harmonize the things that they touch. Good. Now I would like you to move those hands to the side of your face And as you hold your hands there, I would like you to feel the warmth in the side of your face entering through your hands, knowing that this calm and restorative energy can flow through you and wash through your skin and out through your feet. There are several hand positions in Reiki. You can look them up on the internet. I'm not going to teach them here. I've just taught you how to connect with the energy and allow it to rinse through you. I have three very important concepts to teach you now in the next two and a half minutes. Reiki 2, the second level of Reiki, teaches three symbols. Those symbols are in my book. The essence of those symbols is three, really three concepts, and here they are. The first symbol is called the distance healing symbol. It has been translated to me as no past, no present, no future. Quantum physics, as related in books like Lynn McTaggart's The Intention Experiment, is showing us that there is no past, present, or future. Everything is one whole. Everything is connected to everything else, even at the quantum level. So there is no distance between you and me. There is no distance between anyone. Everything is part of the same thing, and the past and the future are illusions. This means that you can use this energy that you've learned and send it but it's not really sending it, since it's all part of the same thing. Really what you're doing is you're harmonizing your intention for healing, for peace, for love, with all that is, and directing it toward a part of the all, which is that person. The second symbol in Reiki that I need to teach you in the next minute is a symbol that's called the clearing symbol and when you think of it and you will find it again you know on the internet or in my book think of it this way a brushing away a brushing away that's the clearing symbol to heal you have to brush away that which is not useful anymore you must cleanse and the third symbol the power symbol is a spiral See yourself as empowering that which is already working, that which is already growing, and is already good. I'm at my time. Please check me out at ReikiDay.com and ReikiPsychology.com, and I thank you.